Welcome to the dark stream. Vox Day, voxday.blogspot.com, and Infogalactic News. Well, as you're probably aware, there has been a uh, another incident. Actually, it looks like five incidents of cultural enrichment in London. Um, I've heard all about this. Uh, actually, we have some uh, some friends who are there in uh, in London. Um, they're tourists. Um, so far, it, it appears that seven are dead. Um, there was initially a car attack on um, on London Bridge. Then there were uh, stabbings um, in uh, both in London Bridge and also in a place called uh, Market Borough or Borough Market, which is quite close. A little farther away, there was a report of some stuff happening at Vauxhall Station, which is about a kilometer away. And then there's uh, there's a few other things going on. Um, apparently, uh, gunshots were fired and so forth. Um, we were watching some of the some of the Sky uh, and BBC news reports, and the police really sounded very um, upset. I mean, in the sense of like uh, trying to clear people out because uh, I'm guessing they thought it was it was perhaps um, there might be a bomb or something. Um, now, my first thought is, it's hard to feel too sorry for Londoners. Um, it's hard to feel too sorry for Londoners. They were dumb enough to celebrate diversity and actually elect a Muslim Sadiq Khan mayor. Okay? So, they deserve this. This is what they voted for. This is what they wanted. This is what you get with a Muslim population. You can look anywhere around, anywhere around where the, the fault, the civilizational fault lines are. And I mean, you know, it's, it hasn't been as covered quite as much, but in the Philippines, they are bombing their own cities, literally bombing from the air. Um, in Mindanao, because the uh, you know the, the Muslims there have been reinforced by foreign ISIS fighters, and um, attempted to take over a city of two hundred thousand people, and so um, you know the 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 thing the thing is that um, this is going to happen. This will not stop, and this is going to happen until. Muslims are removed again from the West. Remember, this is what happened. This is what happened. Um, you know, uh, it was, I believe it was um, Slobodan Milosevic who said that when, uh, when he was talking about the war, um, he was talking about the war in the Balkans, and he said that when people are being beheaded in your own country, you will understand what this is all about. You know, the Serbs knew. The Serbs understood. You know, um, and they have a long memory. They knew what was happening because they were on the fault line before. You know, a lot of Americans didn't understand it that back then. A lot of them thought the Serbs were the bad guys. And so, but the reality is that the Bosnians had started it. The Bosnians began, the, the, the whole situation in, in Yugoslavia that began because the Bosnians started trying to cleanse the Serbs. Now, again, you're talking, if you're bringing Croatia into it, that's a separate question. The Croatia, the, the Serbo-Croatian War was after and separate from the Bosnian-Serbian War. And remember, the Croatians were also fighting the Bosnians. So, um, so anyhow, this is, what we're seeing in, U in the UK is normal. This is what normally happens when you have Muslim populations um, 
that are once they reach a certain level of minority. Um, you know, Samuel Huntington talks about it. A number of peop um, people have written about this. This is entirely normal. And so, um, you know, it's 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 something that people have to have to. Um, it's something that people have to just know. It's it's very it's very silly. People who try to you're trying to evade and redirect. This is nothing to this is nothing to do with Christianity. The KKK is not a threat. Muslims are responsible for 3.5 percent of all the war in human history. That doesn't sound like that. That doesn't sound that impressive until you understand that that is over 50 percent of all the religious war in human history. It's normal. And so um, what we're seeing, you know, the cultural enrichment that we're seeing in London tonight, the celebrating diversity that that were that the diversity that is being celebrated in the UK tonight is normal. It is expected. It is going to continue and it will not stop as long as there is a reasonable um, side, as long as there is a, a statistically significant minority Muslim population. And so, yeah, here we got look, cut going, oh, nothing you say in London. You know, they're going to, they're going to, the cucks are going to whine and cry about this right up to the moment that they get their heads cut off. You're never going to convert these people, okay? Don't try. You know, you can see you can see that I'm not bothering to to discuss this with with anyone, any European who is trying to defend Muslims in the West, or they're trying to say, oh, it's just extremists or that sort of thing, are totally ignorant, okay? It has nothing to do with that. Uh, the, res the resistance in the past was very, very simple. The Spaniards said, you are not going to live in our country. You know, they were called Moors then. A very, a very uh, popular uh, surname in Spain is Matamoros. There's St. James Matamoros. Do you know what Matamoros means? Mm -hmm. It basically means Muslim slayer. And so, um, you know, and, and it took time. It took a long time because it took, um, it took 500 years for them to leave. Now, you know, obviously, obviously not all Muslims are bad. I'm not opposed to Muslims. You know, as a person, you know, I have a, uh, you know, on my, my football team, one of my favorite um, strike partners up front was uh, a Muslim. He's a great guy. You know, he would never, he would never do anything to harm anybody. But the West is not his culture. You know, the West is not where they belong. And there's no such, there's absolutely no way to distinguish between a good individual and a bad individual. You know, the, the, the parents have no control over their children. In fact, what we're seeing is the second and third generation is worse. Um, so, the, the uh, yes, I do know what has happened. I get, I get English TV. I know as much about this as you do. So, um, so anyhow, the um, <laughs> anyhow, let's get here. We got another troll here. It's always fun. It's always fun. No, but it's not. It's not right at this point. It, it is not right at this point to be you know overreacting. Okay, there's no need to overreact to this. You know, at this point in time, the correct thing to do 
is exactly what happened with that, um, with that girl from Nepal in Germany. You know, they don't belong, return them to their homelands. You know, there are, there are something like 57 different Muslim states. There's plenty of, of land, there's plenty of place for, you know, for, for people to be peacefully relocated. That would be ideal. But the more that people resist this, the more that people try to claim, oh, well, we can distinguish between the moderates and the extremists. Um, it's, not, it's, not all, it's not all of them and so forth the more likely it is that we're going to see the, the very nasty kind of ethnic cleansing war that we saw in Yugoslavia. And so, you know, the question is, you know, how long is it going to be before the wrong person uh, loses a family member? Okay? I know a lot of people where if something happens to one of their family members, they will never, ever, ever stop killing. You know, and we're talking about, you know, military vets. We're talking about people that know what they're doing. And that is coming. You know, I don't know when it will start. I don't know exactly why it will start. But it's going to happen. You know, and I mean, to a certain extent, you can say it has happened in small effects. You know, we saw we saw Anders Breivik take out the uh, the, the treasonous elite in Norway. Uh, we saw the guy uh, who shot that um, pro uh, pro EU MP in London, and you know, it is it it is quite obvious that that is, you know, that is probably going to have to happen before the politicians realize that they, they cannot permit this anymore. They, um, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous that the situation has been allowed to get to this point, but you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen is Theresa May is going to come out and she's going to make some stupid statement about how strong we are and how unified we are and how the how hate will not win and blah frickin' blah more bullshit more meaningless bullshit that accomplishes absolutely nothing and so um, you know all that all that kind of stuff is just is just utterly utterly ludicrous and and it's possible that that they don't that they don't care you know but if they don't care what should be done i've said what should be done reconquista too that's what should be done people who are not english should be deported people who from england people who are not german should be deported from germany you know if you are not Christian or of European descent, you do not belong in the West. It's that simple. And also, it's what will happen. There is no such thing as black English. They're Jamaicans or whatever. Yes, even the citizens. Citizenship is meaningless. It's just paperwork. Um, all of the, I mean, he, he, here's what I'm saying. This is going to happen. All right? It's not about what I want. I don't want that. It's not about what you want. Look at history. History does not repeat, but it rhymes. You can call me a racist if you want, but I'm an American Indian. You know? I mean, it, it makes... What I'm trying to point out to you guys is that, yes, if you're Chinese, UK born, you should leave. Because if you don't, bad things are likely to happen to you in time the same way 
that in China, during the Boxer Rebellion, the Chinese slaughtered the Chinese-born Englishmen. Okay? All of these th I mean, here's, here's the thing that you have to understand, is that they are, there, there is a overreaction any time these sorts of things begin to happen. Okay? It's kind of funny because it's kind of funny because this, this you got a Chinese guy saying, Well what what about me? I'm UK born. The Chinese people, if this were happening in China, the Chinese people would be slaughtering literally everybody who wasn't Chinese, including their leaders. In fact a, a Chinese guy was telling me after they um, after they there were some calculation about how whites would be the minority in the in America after 2060 or something like that. And a Chinese friend of mine commented, you know, if that were, if that were reported in China, um, there would be Communist Party members hanging from every lamppost. All right, it's kind of funny to hear some lame ass, you know, Chinaman living in the UK saying you're a racist and stuff. You realize your people slaughtered 50 million of your own people for ideological reasons alone. Okay? The that is going to happen across the west. How can you be sure the Muslims won't prevail? Um mostly because I I, don't, I just don't think that they are they have the capability Right now, they are entirely, entirely dependent upon the elite protecting them. There isn't any certainty, obviously not. You know, but no, if you're not responsible. If you're Chinese, you're not responsible for the Ch Communist Party actions in the People's Republic of China. The point is that you haven't. You, you can't sit there pointing fingers at what other people do. Okay? And so the what what we'll see happen, you know, right now the um, you, you know we are still in the near the peak. Um, you say USA is worse off than Europe, but wouldn't you rather deal with Mexicans and Muslims? Um, well, it kind of depends. You know, what I mean, maybe you haven't been paying attention. But um, Mexicans do tend to be smarter, but they also tend to be incredibly ruthless. Okay, sixty thousand people have died in Mexico in the last ten years. Okay, they're Aztecs. They're not afraid. They're not afraid to ethnically cleanse. They're already doing it. And so, oh, all right. Well, I'm going to get rid of this idiot China guy. Um, so the thing is, is that, you know, but what we're seeing here, what we're seeing here is all these folks that are, um, terrified of reality, you know, um, and I don't know if the, you know, what it is the elite wants, maybe, does the elite want, um, you know, it's a small world. And multiculturalism, or do they really just want that to be an excuse to kick off massive ethnic cleansing that will reduce the global population? Blah blah blah. I don't know. That's well above my pay grade. You know, nobody's telling nobody's telling me what they want to do. All I know, all I know, is that um, history tends to repeat itself. And so, what is likely to happen is that people are going to start a ethnic cleansing war. And I don't know which country it's going to begin in. I don't know which government is first going to um, support either directly or tacitly 
the efforts of its people to create a, a full ethnostate? I have no idea. But what I do know is that it will happen. Why? Because it happens everywhere. It is already beginning to happen in the Philistines. Or Philistine, what I'm saying. In the Philippines. You know, I have absolutely no doubt that Duterte is going to ethnically cleanse, or not ethnically, but religiously cleanse part of um, part of the Philippines. So, um, you know, Duterte is not afraid to slaughter thousands of drug users. You know, he's he's bombing cities in Mindanao, and he's popular. In yeah, yeah, um, Myanmar is a good point. In Myanmar, they have driven the Muslims essentially out of of the populated areas, and now they have this. Um, there's a there's a word for the people. It starts with an R. I can't remember. Um, there, there's a a sob story about this. Um, you know, in the New York Times, and so uh, yeah, the Rohingya, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but but um, the Rohingya are the Muslims in um, Myanmar, and they're being driven out um, of Myanmar because. The um, the Buddhists there don't want to have Muslims in their country. You know, we've seen the same thing. You know, with within the border with Pakistan and India. Um, and so you know the, the the problem that the West faces now. The problem that the West faces. Um, where do you Jews go? Go to your homeland. Go to Israel. Listen to your prime minister. I mean, it's even it's even in your religion. Next year in Jerusalem, people should go to their homelands. That's where they will. That's where they will um, be safest. You know, if you cannot, if you cannot, no, no. You know, I'm an immigrant myself, right? Um. If you cannot integrate 100%, if you cannot make the nation, where the country where you live, the nation and the people where you live, if you're not willing to fight and die for them against your own, your, against your own former people, then you should leave. It's kind of funny. The, 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 I like the, the comment, such absolutist drivel. Read history. Read history. You know, there, there's never a problem, there's never a problem with very small minorities who are completely 100% loyal to their new homes and are fully integrated. That happens. Okay? But, okay, this guy's just too stupid. No, the future is not history, but again, history accurately predicts the, the, the future. So, um, the, um, will I stay in Europe? Uh, yeah, I, I believe so. I mean, I made my choice. I made my choice 20 years ago. You know, um, I would not, uh, I would not say these things if I did not believe them, right? And, um, but, but that being said, you know, um, if, if people don't want you, if people don't want you, then so be it. Um, well, all, I mean, it, all, all of these things are a choice for the individual, but the, the question is, the problem is, uh, <laughs> I like, I like this. This, look, you guys. This is not a, a. This is not a debate. This is not a medium for debate. I'm not having a discussion with you. You are choosing to show up and listen to me. I'm giving you the courtesy, the opportunity to ask questions. 
but we're not debating it. And I appreciate, I appreciate that acceptance. I mean, here's the thing, it is, if you know you are a stranieri, if you know you're stranieri, and you behave like a good guest, and you demonstrate that you are willing to support your neighbors, your friends, you know, they may choose to adopt you. They may or they may not. But here's the important thing. It's up to them. It is absolutely up to them. It's not up to you. You know, and like I said, I made my choice 20 years ago. You know, I rolled the dice. I made my decision and I abide by that decision. Okay. I, I, I at no point did I ever think, well, you know, once we decided that, at no point, once the decision was made, at no point did I ever say, well, if it doesn't work, I, I can always go, go home. No, my home is here. And so, um, and that's what all of the, all of these people who don't do that, the guy who says, I'm Chinese living in the UK. You're not integrated. It doesn't matter whether you were born there or not. It doesn't matter whether you speak the language or not, because that's not how you see yourself. That's not with whom you identify. And so, um, you know, it, it's, and it's, it, it is a, tra the, 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 here's the thing that I, I, I want you to understand. This is a tragedy. It is absolutely a tragedy. And it's a totally unnecessary tragedy. And the people who are responsible for it are the people who encouraged multiculturalism and globalism. They did this to everyone. And so, don't get upset at the absolutists. Don't get upset at the extremists. Don't get upset at the people who end up cleansing the lands again. They are the response that is like blaming the doctor for the disease. So, anyhow, uh, to get back to London, let's see what the latest is here. Um, okay, it looks like they're still saying, um, it's still saying that there were seven are dead in London terror rampage. Up to 20 were run over by a white van and a taxi driver <laughs> tried to knock down three men who were armed with 12-inch knives. So the stabbing attack was by a, a team of people. And I think that, um, like in India, where they, had a, um, where they had a serious attack by a team, I think this is, um, I think this is what we are uh, beginning to see in London. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the Mumbai attack. I think that the Mumbai attack was actually um, a precursor for the kind of attacks that they're going to see um, in places like London um, and in places like uh, Berlin. So I'd be happy to, I'd be happy to be a BBC present, uh, presenter now. Um, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think that they want anything to do with me, but um, I'm quite confident of that, in fact. But, um, so here's the thing. What can we do? Speak the truth without fear. Okay. Part of why, part of why they're able to get away with this bullshit, all this strength and unity and, and not all Muslims and all this kind of crap is because you and me and too many of us kept our mouths shut because we didn't want to get criticized. Okay? You need to speak out. You need to say, this is wrong. You need to say, Enoch Powell was right. You need to say, the alt-right is inevitable. You need to do that. Yes, you might get fired. So, look for a job, before you do that, look for a job where you can go and work where you can speak the truth. 
you know, or get rid of the people, get rid of the people who are willing to try to police your thoughts and police your speech. You know, vote them out of office, fire them from your companies. You know, they're go yes, they're going to crack down. They're going to come, and, you know, they're going to, I mean, I've been kicked off, uh, I mean, my, I have been kicked off Twitter, but my blog is blocked from Twitter. Um, you know, it won't surprise me at some point if, if I get kicked off uh, Periscope, whatever. I don't care. You know, that's why we created Gab. That's why we created, you know, created Infogalactic. You know, I mean, yes, you need to make, you, you need to respond to their equality and coexist and all this kind of crap. You need to respond to that the same way that they respond to whatever the latest offensive trigger word is. Okay. If I, I mean, I never let it pass when somebody ta starts ta babbling about equality and diversity or how wonderful it is and cultural enrichment. I always hit them back right away and I hit them back hard. Do that. Don't let it go. Don't let them act as if it's the normal. You know? And so, um, the thing is, is that you can't, it, it, you know, I mean, it's kind of ironic. You, you, you talk about, like, well, I'm, I'm worried I might get fired. and dun, dun, dun. Well, guess what? War is coming. Winter is coming. You know? Uh, yes, Italians are pretty, are pretty red-pilled, as a general rule. Um, and so, you need to understand that, that, that the, the easy times are over. The easy days are over. Build your tribe. Build your allies. Oh, winter is absolutely coming to America. America has endured the biggest invasion in human history. 80 million people. You know, this is the reality. And so, um, you know, you, you need to understand that, that uh, you know, London is the new normal. That will be the new normal, and it's going to be that way until after the Reconquista II is over. You know, and unfortunately, um, unfortunately, there's going to be um, a tremendous amount of of you know bloodshed and pain and horror and agony. And, um, you know, hopefully it won't be as bad as World War I or World War II were. But, um, you know, all we can do is prepare and pray. That's it. So, um, anyhow, uh, so keep your eyes open, speak the truth, and make sure that you ram this cultural enrichment and this celebration of diversity down the throat of every SJW, every cuck, every refugee's welcome, every single person who supports multiculturalism, multiculturalism and globalism, ram this down their throats and make sure they understand they are responsible. Have a good evening.